life to Jesus now, huh? not tomorrow, I tell you. No reservations, I, I tell you. No excuses and no alibis. Not tomorrow, but today. Come on, talk to your God personally. You know, salvation is a personal. It's a personal salvation. Your commitment, is, 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 it, it's a, it, it is a personal. It's between you and your God. Come on, talk to your God. You know, I was uh, so surprised and amazed and so blessed. Pastor Rael, we said, this 2014, I will give my life to Jesus Lord. And Pastor Rael said, this, this new year, I made it. She said, I will give my best more to Jesus. Ngayon, kausapin mo ngayon si Jesus personally. For no weapon that is formed against this shall prosper. No lying tongue that accuses thee shall win over you. Hindi po ako nakakatakot. Hindi nakakatakot ang buhay ko. Ako lang yung taong masyadong istrikto. Ako lang yung taong ayaw ka nang mabagal eh. Gusto ko, action na ngayon na. Kaya nga nung unbeliever ako, gusto ko action film eh. Gusto ko bakbakan. Ayaw ko ng horror, nakakatakot yun eh. Ayaw ko rin na pwede na rin yung comedy kasi nakakilitin yun. Pwede na rin yung mga love story kasi Nakakaiyak yun eh. Pero gusto ko action film. Banalaan, banalaan. So come on now, talk to your God. Tell to Jesus, what do you want? What do you want to Jesus? What would you do and what will you give to Jesus now?
Pagpagay pa ng buhay ng mas matindi.
did say unto me, what did say unto me before? And my promise to God before, there will be no change. Nothing changed and there will be no change. Because I have only one desire. And this is the message that we are about to hear this day. Nasa si George Watt. George Watt, napakal na sa kanya. Kawakan yung camera. Father, for the country, Lord, I could have. Kapit, kapit, yan. Yes. Sabi sa akin kagabi, sabi sa akin kanina ni Joshua, ni Joseph, kata, panisa o kagabi. Sabi niya, Papa, kaya tayo ulit sa kinailan natin, kahit dalawa lang. Sabi ko sa kanya, oo naman. At hindi lang yun. Isasama rin kita. At patuloy kita ang isasama sa mataas sa pag-ibig ko ni Cristo Jesus. Father, dahil narinig mo yung marapos ni ko kanina, susundan ko ang iyakap ng Kuya Diyos. You will become the leader of the leaders. Say, God, prepare yourself, my son. Your life will never ever be the same again. Give us good eyesight, good mind, good health, Good as Lord, we give us Lord all your goods, all the good things, because we will give our life unto Thee more than ever before. Father, for Your own glory alone. So from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyricum, 
I have fully proclaimed the gospel of Christ. Okay, sabi fully, fully proclaimed. This is the theme. Our team last. Uh, ano ba tapat? Kailan ba natin ito naging team? Camp natin, tama ba? Last camp, this is our team. Fully proclaimed the gospel of Christ. By the power of signs and miracles. Through the power of the Spirit. So from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyrico. I have fully proclaimed the gospel of Christ. Ano yung pinroklama niya? The gospel of Christ. No? He didn't proclaim that he is a directioner. He didn't proclaim that he is a believer, Justin Bieber, a believer of Justin Bieber. No. I have pro fully proclaimed the gospel of Christ. Pakisabi, gospel of Christ. Pakisabi, sa pamamagitan, sige, sabihin mo, sa pamamagitan, ng mga tanda, at himala, sa kapangyarihan ng bandan na spirito, mula sa Jerusalem, hanggang sa Ilirico, ipinangaral ko ng buong buong ang mabuting palita ng kaligtasan ni Kristo. By the power of signs and wonders and miracles to the power of the Spirit, so from Jerusalem all the way around to Ilirico, I have fully proclaimed the gospel of Christ. It has always been my ambition, makasabi ambition, to preach the gospel of Christ The gospel where Christ was not known so that it would not be building on someone else's foundation. It has always been my ambition, pakisabi ambition, to preach the gospel where Christ was not known so that I would not be building on someone else's foundation. Pakisabi, Paul's ambition. Paul's ambition. That, that is the title of the message for this day. Paul's ambition. Apostle Paul's ambition. The former soul became Paul. Paul's ambition. Paul had only one ambition. Paul had only one ambition and was very eager to reach it or to fulfill it. Isa lamang po ang ambisyon ni Apostol Pablo na masyado siyang enthusiastic, masyado siyang masigasig, no? na ito ay mangyari o magana. Paul had only one ambition and was very eager, very enthusiastic to reach it or to fulfill it. Okay? So, number one, His commitment and dedication. Now we could see in these verses his commitment and dedication to fulfill his ambition, to reach his ambition. What what was Paul's ambition? Ano ang ambition ni Pablo? Ano ang ambition ni Pablo? Ipangaral a magandang balita ni Kristo sa lahat ng tao. Paul's one and only ambition is to preach Christ. Wherever we are, he, wherever he, uh, he will go, he will preach the gospel of Christ to all people. Ano ang ambition ni Pablo? Tanungin mo nga yung katabi mo kung naiintindihan niya. Tanungin mo nga. Ano ang ambition ni Pablo? Sige, tanungin mo. Tanungin mo. Ano sa doon? Ang ipangaral, ang mabuting balita ni Kristo sa lahat na tao. Paul's one, one and only ambition is the priest the gospel of Christ to all the peoples of the earth. And we could see his commitment and dedication. Acts 20 to 24, Acts 20, 24 to 28. However, I consider my life worth, worth nothing to me. No. Inaari ko na ang buhay ko hindi na mahalaga. Amen. Betaw pa ho ba dito? However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task that the Lord Jesus Christ has given me. The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. 
My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task. The Lord Jesus has given me the task of testifying the goodness of God's grace. He is saying that God that has given him a task. What task? What job? Testifying the good news of God's grace. And he said, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. Nakikinig pa ho ba kayo? Alam nyo, na-bless pa kayo na Sunday? Wala sa pasagot. O I mean, last anniversary natin? Marami pang tao? Puno pa tayo? Amen. Gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, sa mga darating pag magtitipon natin ang anniversaryo, mas malaki, mas marami tayo. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, salamat. Na nalaging ka, nag-ayuno ka, nag-impita ka. Ano man ang ginawa ko, salamat. From the very bottom of my heart, to so all of you that contributed a lot in our last anniversary, from the very bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Again, say to yourself, thank you very much. And say to the neighbor beside you, thank you very much. Yeah. Sa mga bisaya, thank you very much. Thank you very much. At alam mo ba, isa lang ang ambisyon ni Pablo. Ano yun? Ang ipangaral ng salita ng Diyos. Paul's one and only ambition. He said, it has always been my ambition to preach the gospel of Christ. Amen. Amen. Another, uh, uh, next verse, uh, 24, 25. Now I know that none of you among whom I have gone about preaching the kingdom will ever see me again. Dito, sa, dito makita kayo sa akin. Actually, nagpapaalam na siya rito eh. Kasi akala niya hindi na siya makakabalik pa. Pero nakakabalik pa siya, nagkita pa sila. Kasi akala niya mamamatay na siya. Pero hindi pa nangyari. Nagpapaalam na siya. Therefore, I declare to you that I am innocent of the blood of all men. Therefore, I declare to you today that I am innocent of the blood of all men. Ipinapahayag ko sa inyo, innocent 